Hey guys, so today we're gonna talk about iOS 17.4. So yesterday on January 30th, Apple released a revised version of iOS 17.4 Developer Beta 1 or a re-release of iOS 17.4 Developer Beta 1 alongside the first public beta for iOS 17.4. Now in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some minor details and changes that Apple has added to the revised version and the public release for iOS 17.4. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay. Okay, so first things first, in case you didn't know, iOS 17.4 will be different for the EU than it is to the rest of the world and the US. So Apple has opened up the operating system for a lot of more options for the EU, including some of these new changes added within the latest beta, which include about a default browser. This allows you to change the default browser on your iPhone. You can choose which one you want to use. Now, for those of you that may not know what this means, let me give you a quick example here. If you go into messages on your iPhone, for example, and someone sends you a link, once you click that link, it will open within Safari. Safari is your default browser. Of course, this option will allow you to change Safari to whatever it is that you wish. So if you prefer to use Google Chrome, maybe Firefox or Oprah, whatever it is, you can change your default browser. So every time you click on a link through iOS, it will open on the browser that you choose. But again, this is only available within the EU. Hopefully we'll see this expand across the world as well. Now with iOS 17.4 and watchOS 10.4, Apple also added a new feature to watchOS, which is ignore double tab when using Vision Pro. So with Vision Pro, Obviously, you have to double tap your fingers to select items. And with Apple Watch Ultra second generation, you use this feature to answer calls or perform certain actions. Well, you can ignore these double tap actions on Apple Watch if you're wearing your Apple Watch and using Vision Pro with iOS 17.4 and watchOS 10.4, which is a welcome change. Now, additionally, Apple also released a new firmware update for AirPods Max, and I've been waiting for this one. It's been quite some time since we got a firmware update for the AirPods Max. The latest update does not include any new features however i've noticed some changes that i wanted to share with you guys the latest version right there it is 6a324 now as we go into apple's website for airpods former update apple never provides really any specifics right here they say bug fixes and other improvements there it is airpods max 6a324 and i've noticed that the noise cancellation once again has been tweaked with the latest firmware update for airpods max and i like the way it sounds i love that apple continues to improve and tweak around the noise cancellation i think is one of the best on airpods max and once again apple continues to improve that with this latest firmware again apple makes no mention of this but after using airpods max for many years now i've noticed that the actual noise cancellation has been tweaked around and this time around i like what i hear now if you want to update your airpods all you have to do is make sure that your airpods are paired to your iphone make sure that they're both connected to a power source sitting next to each other for about 15 minutes or so and the firmware update will happen on your airpods automatically in the background again you can check once they update you'll see the new update right here it is version number 6a324 and that about brings it into this video i just wanted to share those details with you guys ios 17.4 revised or re-release is available public beta now is available as well some of the minor changes that i wanted to share with you guys in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace